What's up guys, it's Baby Hay and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I'm just gonna be doing another day in my life. These are the most fun videos to film because I don't always know exactly what's happening during the day, so I love just bringing you guys along. Can we just talk about this bucket hat? So cute, right? I found it in my closet. I had bought two of them at Urban. I bought a tan one and this black one, and I've never worn the black one before, so I'm really excited to wear it today. I saw someone wearing theirs on Instagram and it just totally inspired me because I was like, oh my gosh, I used to wear my bucket hat uh, when I went to Hawaii. So I got my bucket hat on today and I'm not doing any makeup today because I'm bringing you guys along to some beauty treatments that I have going on. Don't want to wear makeup, so we're just going to go with a natural face. So I just did my skincare, put on a little sunscreen, and I'm going to be heading out the door. Just going to put my purse on. I think I'm going to go, sorry this angle is really bad, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm going to go with this purse today. I'm just going for like a very black outfit. We have some very bright lighting going on in here. The shorts and the tank top are both from Princess Polly. Filmed a Princess Polly haul, so if you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. I also posted it on my Instagram story, so you may have seen it there. But I just love this tank top, so comfortable. Don't even have to wear a bra with it. And then obviously my fun bucket hat that I got at Urban. And then I have these shorts on, the Princess Polly ones, wearing a size four in both the top and the bottoms. Then I just have on this purse, and I put on my Air Force Ones with some taller socks. I'm really into taller socks with sneakers, if you guys haven't noticed. But we're going to head out the door. Just got to my first appointment, and it is getting my eyelashes lifted and tinted. I haven't gotten my eyelashes done since February, so it's been quite a while now. And I used to do eyelash extensions a really long time ago. It was probably like my freshman or sophomore year of college, and... I started getting a reaction to the glue and so I can't really ever do eyelash extensions anymore and I just really like having an eyelash lift and tint because if you see um, my eyelashes are really straight so I have like naturally pretty long eyelashes but they're just stuck so stick straight and so the lift really just like curls them up and then since my hair is so blonde my eyelashes are pretty light the tint just makes them darker it gives it kind of more a mascara look without actually wearing any mascara so I really like that natural look especially for summertime it's really nice if you don't want to wear a lot of makeup and just do more of like the sunscreen and um, CC cream look want to give you guys a really good before so you can see maybe I should take my hat off for you my hat hair is really nice right now um whoa bright so this is the before just want to make sure you guys really can see like how straight my eyelashes are so that is what I got going on now I'm gonna head in there I'll film some of the treatment just so you guys can get kind of an idea of what she does and then I'll obviously show you the after. So I'm going to start off by placing these, these lash pads underneath on your bottom lashes. That's just going to go ahead and separate the bottom and top. Okay. And then I will be um, using an adhesive and I'm going to um, be applying this rod. Um, the silicone rod on top of your lid okay and then I'll be combing the lashes onto the rod okay. and then we'll be doing um, the lash lift lotion okay. and that'll stay on for a few minutes and then after that we'll be doing the keratin setting lotion then okay. we'll do the tint right after okay. okay and then I like mine to be more curled okay so so you, so you want it lift like really lifted really lifted yeah. okay gotcha your lashes are so beautiful I'm just oh, gonna do thank this you. yeah that's perfect is that comfy? Yeah, that feels good. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm just removing the keratin. Okay. The keratin lotion. And then next I'll be applying the tint. Okay, gotcha. And then we're going to be doing the tint on the bottom too, right? Yeah. Okay. Got to tint them both. How long does the tint go on for? Five minutes. Okay. 
Yeah. But it looks so good. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to show it in my car too because I get really good lighting in the car. They look so good. I love the way that they turned out. Obviously, just really lifted and much darker than they were before. But Kimberly is doing a special right now in case you guys are in Vegas and want to get yours done. It's usually $95 for the lift and the tint, but right now she's doing it for $70. So you basically get the tint for free, which is really cool. But definitely let me know too if you guys do it and if you guys like it. I love getting it done. It just makes me feel just a little bit more put together in the mornings without getting ready. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. And now I'm going to head home. So for lunch, I'm just doing something pretty simple. Bowl. This is actually my breakfast and my lunch today. <laughs> it's been a busy morning, but I just did a English muffin. This is the brown rice gluten-free English muffin from Whole Foods. And then I just did some of this classic almond butter, the Justin's brand. And then I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon on top and then some banana slices. Well, it's super simple and it took me only a couple minutes to make, but you know me, I love my toast. And then I just drizzled a little bit of honey on top of it. So I just got to my second appointment and I am getting lip filler. The last time I got my lips done was in July, so last summer, a year ago. And then the time before that was September, so pretty much the year before that. So I've done it for a couple years now and your body metabolizes it. So I'm just wanting to get it retouched up. These are my lips before. I'll obviously show you guys inside and the after. I'm gonna be a little swollen, so bear with me for the rest of this day when we're vlogging, um, but I'm really excited to get them done, and it's at Caitlin's work, so we'll head in there now, and you guys can see. These are my lips before. Let's get close. I kinda just wanna go for more of like a filled look, like a little bit plumpier. Um, not necessarily change the shape, so that's kind of what the idea is. You okay? Mm-hmm. You can see, right, from this side to mm -hmm. this. So good. Massaging it all out, making sure it's all no smooth. Yes, smooth. No lump. Gorgeous. <laughs> Loving my lips you guys. I think she did a really good job. Still my natural shape but a little bit more plump to them which is exactly what I wanted so I'm really happy that she did you know what I was going for. They're pretty swollen right now. They'll be swollen for probably a few days. They won't be fully healed for two weeks and there'll be some bruising so bear with me during this like swelling and bruising phase. So I'm really excited to see how they turn out once the swelling and everything is done. And if you guys are interested in getting your lips done and you are in Vegas, just like the eyelashes, I went to Orange Twist where Caitlin works and you guys can see Michelle. So I'll also include her Instagram in the description box. So I've just been icing my lips a little bit at home. It helps with the swelling, so hoping it goes down. You can see that they're obviously pretty swollen. <laughs> And they're still, they're not super numb, but definitely a little bit numb. And I got this ice pack recently at Target for my hand. So it really comes in handy. I've also been doing some of my hand exercises. So a lot of just like sitting right here and doing all the right things. I know some of you guys might have some questions on, you know, some of the treatments. So I'll try to answer some of the ones that I can think of that come to mind. One of them is how long does it last? So the eyelashes last six to 10 weeks. I know Kimberly had mentioned that to me. And then the lips usually last, well, up to a year. Generally people get theirs done like every six to like 12 months. There's a pretty big range depending on how full you want yours to be. I get mine done every year, so that's just kind of what works for me. And I probably could have done them sooner because it did fade, but it does get expensive, so it's good to keep that in mind. Another question is, is it painful? So the eyelashes definitely don't feel anything. You can feel like maybe a little bit of a stinging from the tint, but it doesn't hurt at all. And then for the lips, they do a numbing cream on top, so you're pretty numb when they're doing it. And then for some people who do struggle with pain, they can do a dental block until they inject under inside of your mouth. So you really, you know, don't have to worry about that too much. There are times when I'm like, Ooh, it kind of hurts a little. But for me, it really doesn't hurt that much at all. And then how long do the treatments take is kind of another question that I see that some people ask. The eyelash appointment was an hour and it took the whole time. 
and then the lips took 15 minutes for numbing and then it takes like 30 minutes to do the lips and then I spent like 15 minutes like taking pictures and you know hanging out so that one took about an hour too they don't take that long I would say you know an hour for both treatments generally and then for the healing time on the lips like I said it'll take about two weeks for them to be fully healed so they don't really do any correcting until then so some people realize oh maybe one side is a little bit more full or you want to move the filler around a little bit you want to you know inject a little bit more because they're not as big as you want them to be she says don't fall in love with the swelling phase because some people really like the way that they look when they're swollen and then when the swelling goes down they're like oh my gosh my lips are so small so you really just want to wait two weeks before you make any final thoughts or decisions on what your lips are looking like because you can always make adjustments to them if you don't like them but i've had really good experiences with both my treatments and i'm really glad that i was able to get both of them done and especially that they were on the same day i feel like it's more fun to have like a beauty day so today is the beauty day <laughs> the next thing that i need to do for beauty today i don't have time but I need to get my nails done. When I was at physical therapy, she was like, can you shorten your nails? And I was like, yeah, I can do that. Because when I'm doing my hand exercises, they're just kind of in the way. So probably getting my nails done this week. It would have been really fun if I was able to fit that in today too, but that would have just been a lot of beauty stuff in one day. So nails will be next. Okay, so this is what I came for. I'm getting the cauliflower gnocchi. Then they also have a bag of the kale gnocchi left. So I'm gonna grab both of these. I'll probably make the cauliflower one tonight and then I'll try the kale one another night. I'm also gonna grab one of the guava goddess kombucha. They're more expensive here. They're $2.99 and a lot of places like Whole Foods even have them for two for five dollars, which I mean it just adds up. So I'm not gonna get more than one. I'm just gonna get one for tonight. But I like the guava one the best, so I'm gonna grab that. They obviously have the watermelon, strawberry lemonade, and then the triology one I don't like. And then I'm also just gonna get a thing of strawberries because I ran out. I already have blueberries, so I don't need to get any of that. And I don't think I need anything else, so I'm just gonna get the strawberries. You know that feeling when you're driving and you are seriously running on empty and you are praying that you can make it to the nearest gas station? Oh, that's me right now. I think I have like less than one mile to get there. Why, one, did I let my tank get this empty? And two, why does it feel like it's taking so long for me to get to the gas station? I literally see it across the way. I'm like, I need to make it. I need to. Oh my gosh, we're, we're moving, we're moving. Okay, done vlogging, putting the vlog down. No driving and vlogging. Oh, yes. Freaking made it. That's what I'm talking about. We got no more need to panic. I filled up my tank halfway. I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I don't like filling up at different gas stations. Like, whoa, my camera, I need to stand for this thing. <laughs> I don't like filling up at different gas stations. Like, I like using the same, I guess, like, business. So I don't like going to different gas stations because I can't figure out how to do it. Some of the pumps are just like kind of confusing. And then it's just funny because I, sometimes it'll say like, go see cashier. And I just don't like when I have to put in like a certain dollar amount, I want to fill up the whole tank. So when they're like, go see cashier. And then I have to say like, what, I want $40, $50. I don't like, I don't know how much my, how much money my tank holds. Like I can't just tell them how many gallons I want. So it's confusing. So I only filled up halfway so I can go to a regular gas station that I go to and just fill up my tank <laughs> normally. But I am very thankful that I got gas and then we didn't just get stuck in the middle of the road. So I'm gonna start cooking up the gnocchi and one of my biggest tips for this, if you guys wanna try it and haven't made it before, is to not follow the recipe that's on the packaging. It's just wrong. It makes it so mushy and just not very good so i just let some oil in the pan heat up and then i'll probably add like a third of the package in here oh my gosh you guys i wish i had got that on camera <laughs> while i was cooking the smoke alarm literally was going off so i grabbed this broom and i was like beating the smoke detector so that it would turn off because it was like fire 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 and i was like there's no fire no, there's no fire. I'm like panicking because I thought that like, I don't know what was gonna happen, 
but it literally would not stop going off like I would turn it off and it would turn right back on and it would turn it off and it would turn right back on and I was like oh my gosh I'm still like kind of shaking because it was so <laughs> crazy oh my god but I finished cooking now so I want to show you guys the update on it so I finished sauteing the gnocchi and then I just added the zucchini in here sauteed them both in the same pan I just put some cayenne pepper and then salt and pepper on the zucchini and then here is the sausage. I just cut them up to make it more like meatballs in a way because this is more of like a pasta kind of dish without like actual pasta. I'm just doing the gnocchi. So I have these cooked up and I'll just put everything in the bowl. And then I'm going to be using this um, tomato basil sauce from Whole Foods. We got the gnocchi, the zucchini, and the sausage. So now it's just time to add some sauce. It obviously it doesn't look as pretty with the tomato basil sauce on top, but I do really like the taste of it. You could also do either pesto or you could do just like olive oil or butter if you wanted something light, but it's really good. I re definitely recommend trying it and to just saute the gnocchi on the stove. Don't actually follow the packaging. And if you like gnocchi, I think you'll think it tastes pretty good. I just realized that I need to order more dry shampoo. I use the Dry Bar Dry Shampoo. It is one of my absolute favorite products. And I just ran out. I'm pretty sure I ran out yesterday because when I was trying to put some in my hair today, like nothing was coming out. So that is one of my favorite beauty products. And then tonight I'm just going to wash my face with the Skin Medica Facial Cleanser. This is one of my other favorite cleansers. So just make sure I rub this all around really good. And even though I didn't wear makeup today, I did have tinted sunscreen on, obviously still germs and bacteria that get on your face. So even if you don't wear makeup, you should still really wash your face. And then the other product I wanted to show you guys tonight, my face looks just so crazy right now with my lips and everything. We'll do like a full skincare routine or whatever another time. One of my other absolute favorite beauty products is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I don't use this all the time. I just use it every once in a while and it makes my skin feel so hydrated. So if you guys are curious, I have more of dry skin for sure. So I know that some people have like very oily skin, but I just have never really struggled with oily skin. But I do love this jet lag mask. I think that, you know, it can work for any skin. But what I do is I just apply this at night and then I sleep with it on overnight. It definitely absorbs into your skin all the way. So there's no reason to put it on and then wash it off. It's definitely a sleeping mask. And then obviously you can use this on the plane too. Like that's the idea behind it, but I like it for bed. Also not traveling these days. So it's perfect for at home. So I just do a little bit, just like a dot amount. And then I apply this over to my whole face. It honestly just feels like a lotion. Maybe like a little bit of a thicker lotion. You don't need to like rub it all in all the way. Just kind of lightly rub it in and then just let it absorb. This might be kind of random, but I really love my toothbrush. I have a Sonicare. One of the best parts about it is that it's pink. It's a really cute toothbrush. I shared this in my Amazon favorites video because I did get this toothbrush from Amazon but it just works so well and it always makes my teeth feel so clean. It has different settings too. So you can do like clean, white, polish, gum care, sensitive. Well, I'm pretty much ready for bed. Those are just a couple of my favorite products that I wanted to tell you guys about. And I need to ice my lips and like look at myself in the mirror and they're so swollen. I'm definitely bruising a lot on this side. I don't know why this side is just bruising so much more, but like even underneath is bruising a lot more. So I want to ice it because I know it's going to be way worse tomorrow, but don't worry. I'm not going to look crazy. All the swelling is going to go down and I'll be back to normal. Just a little bit more plump, 
but I've had lip injections before. So I know the process, I'm not worried. If you guys have any you know, questions about anything, you can always comment those down below. I love seeing your guys' questions, your comments, all of that. I try to get back to as many of you as I can. And if for some reason, you know, I don't see your comment on YouTube, you can definitely reach out to me on Instagram. I'll try to get back to you there as well. I have my Instagram linked down below. And then I have the other girl's Instagram. So definitely, you know, reach out. But I think I'm going to close out the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this kind of beauty day in my life. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.